Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Sorry if you noticed the theme of today's video is a little different from what I discussed in my yesterday's uh, live preview and chit chat. So I was gonna do the jewelry unboxing from Goodwill Blue Box, but I just didn't have the time. Um, things got out of hand this morning with a couple different errands I had to run. So we're gonna do this instead. Um, we're gonna do, I found some more of these little uh, mystery bags of jewelry at one of my local thrift shops. So we're gonna go through the, these and then the second part of the video is going to be the unboxing of the denim um, mystery box from America's Thrift Supply. So here we go. If you're interested in anything you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And um, just give me a timestamp, timestamp only, of what you're interested in purchasing and um, a brief description if you need to. And if you are new, I need your PayPal email and your mailing address. Um, also, I'll keep a sold list down in the comment section. So just check that out in case anything sells from this video. Um, it just helps me out with the amount of emails I get and being able to get back to you guys as fast as I can. So, um, Let's get let's get on into it and all the information is always down in the description box if you have any questions. So they didn't have these last time, brooches and pins. So that'll be interesting. But let's do the necklaces and see what we got. So this is it's usually comprised of pieces that I guess they don't sell. Like, they, like, you know, they can't, they didn't sell or whatever, so we'll see. Um, I do go here at least once a week, so to me, none of this jewelry really looks familiar, but I know, you know, jewelry can move a lot faster than just me coming in once a week. But let's see what we got, and let's see if this was worth it. Oh, before I forget, I want to um, talk about these rings again. Um, these are still for sale. They're from my jewelry jar from Savers from the other day. So if you guys were interested, these are sterling silver. And oops, I just knocked. Actually, that reminds me. I just knocked these down, and I actually want to show them to you guys as well. So we'll do those next. But this is um, a size six. It is sterling silver. And um, I'm doing $20 on that one. Anyone's interested? Okay, and then I have this one. This is a real honker. This is marked inside um, GA, which I do think somebody mentioned it in my comment section. And I did look it up, and it is possible that this could be Giorgio Armani. They did do um, sterling rings. So this is like a Vermeil and with, um, with CZ. So, and this one is a size 8. And this one is $25. And that is a really good deal um, if you look up Giorgio Armani, um, you know, rings online, they go for like 50. So this one's 25, size 8 if anybody's interested. And then I almost forgot to show these. Thankfully, I knocked one over and it reminded me. So I just grabbed these, these cute little trinket boxes if anybody's interested in these. Um, I have been starting to pick up like smaller jewelry boxes and stuff. Um, I found some really cool vintage ones that I'll be showing in auctions coming up, um, which reminds me, make sure you guys come hang out with me tomorrow night, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel, and I'm welcoming, welcoming back Haley for a live jewelry auction. Okay, so back to the trinket box. This one is kind of like that like bamboo with like the lacquer over it really pretty and it says made in China but it's it's small it's cute it's really really neat and clean um, let me actually get you a measurement so you so you can see it's about two inches by an inch 
And I'm going to do $5 if you guys are interested in that one. And then this one is Cloisonne. This um, has uh, a little chippy right there, but I thought it was still really pretty. And all along the sides, there's a little chip there. Okay. And there's a little bit of breakage there. But if you guys know Cloisonne, you know that it's, that's just what it does after time. <laughs> so this one measures, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. And it measures two, almost two and a half by one and three fourths. And again, about an inch tall. And this one I'm also going to do for five since it has a little bit of damage. Otherwise, this would be like maybe 10 or $12. Maybe even more. Okay, so back into the jewelry. All right, so this they had for $6. I think it's just like one of those seeds or nuts. Let me see, is there a clasp? No, it's just, it's actually really, 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 really long. Let me try to get this knot out. Oh, I see what they did. They doubled it with the price tag, but it is not doubled originally. Um, so I can do a drop measurement, but then you can, you'd have to double it. It's 20 inches, so it's 40 inches on the drop. Okay, I mean, it's pretty cool. So I'll just do, um, I'll just do $3 on it. All right, let's see what else we got. We got this guy. Oh, look. Ooh-wee, it's a crown trafari. Nice. Okay, so they wanted three. It's just a little chain. Uh, let's do a measurement. It is a nine inch drop. So, I mean, this is cool and it's in really good condition. So I'm just gonna ask five. With these mystery bags, this is like clearance pricing um, that I do. Otherwise, in a regular video of mine, I probably would charge eight for that. Okay, let's see this one. This is just plastic pieces and some seed beads with a barrel, screw barrel clasp. Um, it is 17 inches. What are they, what'd they ask? Three, I will do $2 on this one. Um, we have this green thing. This looks kind of like it's handmade maybe. It has a little button for the clasp and these really bright colored seed beads and then one little black one right there. I know a, a bunch of different artists are starting to do that with their work. This is a 12 inch drop and I will do $2. Then we have this. We wanted five. Wonder if these end caps could be sterling. Ooh, it is possible. Let me just grab a cleaning cloth because I didn't think we'd be testing. Didn't think we'd be testing things. So let's see. There are no markings though, but that doesn't always mean anything. No, it's not. So probably just an aluminum. So this one, it just has a loose thread here, but it's really pretty. And it's got these larger beads in between. Let's see, are they glass? I think they are. So this is actually really nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And it is a nine inch drop. So it's an 18 inch necklace and it's really nice. So I'm gonna do five bucks. 
This one is a cool eagle with like a little um, orb or maybe not eagle, maybe falcon, hawk, something like that. It could be pewter with the beads, the beads and a little hook clasp. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't want to straighten out, so I'll have to do this and then hold it. It is a nine inch drop starting from the wings. Okay, so that's pretty cool and it's in good condition. It's pretty neat. I'll do four on it. Even if someone bought it to repurpose the bird, that's pretty cool. Okay, we have this guy. This is definitely um, like stoneware. Check that out. And does that say anything? Yes, it says if it would stop turning over. 925, okay, I can't read that. So we are going to look together under the loop. 925, it looks like 105.5, no, 165. Let me look myself here, maybe with the light on, on the loop. 925-10SF. I don't know. The stamp is doubled, so it's like kind of hard to tell. But, oh my gosh, they were only asking $1.50 for this. Did they not read the little clasp? I mean, just this part right here is worth more than $1.50. So, <laughs> well, maybe not, but... Let's just check it, and maybe somebody can, you know, if they love the necklace, but there's some, you know, there's a little bit of tears there, and let's test this one. I'm sure it is. It does look like sterling, and the clasp is marked as well. Yeah. Yeah. That one, it's very light blue, but this one is super blue, so. Tis tis, okay. Well, I don't really think anyone is going to be using the ribbon because it's a little bit on the tattered side, but this is pretty cool, and this is sterling silver. So I will just do, I'll do $3. Maybe someone can repurpose that or something. All right, this is the last piece of the bag. Oh, it has a mark. RLM Studio, right? RLM Studio, yeah. So wait, isn't that um, Robert Lee Morris? Get the F out. And it th this says uh, 925 as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Oh, that's the RLM as well. You guys. Yep. Sweet. So let's check this as well. This was pretty cool. And this is only the first bag. We still have two more bags, guys. All right, let's check that out. Yes, we are positive for sterling, positive for sterling. All right, so I'm not really familiar with Robert Lee Morris's pricing per se. So um, let's do a quick eBay search. Robert, I'll show you guys in a second. Robert Lee Morris, uh, I don't know, circle, pendant, necklace oh, look it's right there yep 
Okay, so let's go back to that one. This one is selling for $41. So you would wear it this way with the curve forward and then the RLM is on the back. Yep. All right, let's see if there are any solds. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, so that one's like a little bit similar. Um, yeah, I don't see the one I have sold, but it's selling for, it's listed for $40. So that's pretty cool. Let's measure the drop on it. It's pretty long. I wouldn't, let me see, where's, okay, here we go. Let me put this down because I'm gonna have to hold the string because it's a little bit cramped. All right, so it's about an 11 and a half inch length, um, sorry, drop, and then you have a an extender. So for this one, I'll give you guys a deal and I'll do 20 bucks, okay? Very cool. Okay, let's dive into the next one. So we have two brooch and pin bags, which I ha did not see last time uh, when I got this. these bags. They did not have brooches and pins, so let's see what we got. I want three for this one. At least everything's been in good condition, right? That's pretty cool. At least they're not giving you junk in here. Um, okay, I don't see any maker marks on this one, but it is very pretty and in very good condition. So I'll stick with the $3. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. Okay, this one, they were asking three as well. I don't see any makers on this one either. All right, let's put that back in there so nobody gets poked. Come on. Oh, that's because it's not the right way. Duh, Kristen. Okay, so it probably goes like that. And even the pearls are in good condition. I only see a little bit of chipping right there on the inside of this first pearl, but you can't even really see it unless you're inspecting it. So. We'll stick with the three dollars. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is. That, this I'm unfamiliar with. Nothing on the back. I don't know this emblem. Um, so I'll do two dollars on that. Two dollars on that brooch. This one. I don't see any maker marks. It's very pretty and pretty large, silver tone, beautiful condition. I I swear, if I would have saw these there, I would have bought them. So they, <laughs> you know, this is, I would have definitely bought this stuff. Especially if I saw that RLM piece. So this one we will stick with $4. This is, this looks cool. Looks like a little handmade piece, maybe even hand cut. Um, okay, we'll stick with $2. This one's pretty. Let's see if there's any marks on here. Nope. <clears throat> you can wear this a bunch of different ways. You can wear it like that. You can wear it like that. You can wear it like that, you can wear it like that. This is like one of those 360 brooches. You can wear it any way you want, but I think it's meant to be worn like that. Again, excellent condition. $3. I would ask four or five, but okay, we'll do $3. This has just a little bit of bubbling right there, but otherwise in good condition also. Uh, no maker marks on the back. Um, I'll just do three, three dollars. And then lastly, we have this little guy. 
no markings and I don't think he's silver. Um, definitely a little bit of wear. I'm just gonna do two dollars on him. Two dollars on the silver tone one. Okay, last bag and then we're gonna go into the denim unboxing. Denim, denim, denim. Okay. Oh, there's, looks like there's quite a bit in this one. Okay, let's move you guys over. Ooh, I think that's JJ. Okay, we have a leaf tack pin. Cute. Um, I don't do cents, like change, like 50 cents, so I'll just do a dollar on this one. Okay. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love him. I think I'm going to keep him and I'm going to show him. I'm going to bring him to my auction tomorrow and I'm going to auction him off. You'll, you can see me in the reflection. Hi. Um, so stinking cute. Okay. He'll be in tomorrow night's show, you guys. Love him. All right. Welcome to my garden quilt pin. 2002 Sunflower. Cool. I'll stick with this price, $1. All right, let's look at this, see if it's JJ. No way, it's not. No, there's no markings. Wow, I would have, tell me in the comments right now if you think that this would have been JJ. <laughs> but now that I'm looking at it, it's not exactly, um, as detailed as a JJ brooch, but from far away, absolutely. I think JJ is a little bit more like defined, but wow, what a copycat. But it's still cool and I still like it. I'm gonna do five on this one. The little Noah's Ark danglies. Aw, uh, coconut. I don't know who coconut is, but you're a little cutie. Um, again, I don't do scents like that, so it'll, this will just be a dollar. It's a little pin. So cute. I, you know what? That's like the perfect name for a little like fluffy white dog, Coconut. Oh my gosh, how cute. It's probably a character of some sort, and I just don't know. But super cute, one dollar. All right, this, this is really pretty, but it's missing a rhinestone. <laughs> Poopy. Poopy, poopy. Let me try to open it and see if there's any markings on the back. All right, come on. No. Darn. Okay, well, it is very pretty, a little butterfly, um, but there's a missing stone right there in the center. So $1. All right, let's see what this is. Here's a little um, 1994 NC, maybe North Carolina, I'm not sure. But um, again, I, I will just do a dollar. I don't really do change like that. I think it's a little strange. But anyway, um, at least for PayPal. Chapter 88 volunteer, not sure. It looks like a veteran pin. So we'll do a dollar on that one. Uh, oh, this is cute. This is a little uh, apple, gold tone apple. Ooh, there's a mark in there. What do you say? Jubilee. That says Jubilee. Not that you guys can really see it. And then what does it say on the back of the tack? Balu? Balu registered. Okay, so the Jubilee apple i'm gonna do i'll do three dollars this guy looks old oh it says as is what was wrong with it it's got scratching on the pearl but that's really all i see yeah all the stones are there though so yeah, it's just got some scratching on the pearl. See it right there? 
and they still wanted three fifty. Oof. Um, I'm doing just a dollar. One dollar. All right, let's look at these. These are little tack pins by Atrium, I guess. Let's see if they say anything. No. So these are cute. New on the card. Um, I'll stick with three bucks. These are cute. They got all got little danglies on them. Silver tone, gold tone, copper tone. Three bucks. And lastly, we have this super cool, like ribbon zigzag. Let me see if I can. I don't want to. I don't want to bend the pin back. Okay, no maker marks. It definitely needs a good cleaning. Let me just actually clean it now and try because I want to make sure that those are not scratches and it actually is just dirty because I would never want to sell somebody something and I said that it's dirty, but really it's ended up, it's ended up being scratched. So let's see. Oh yeah, that cleans up nice. Look at that. There are a couple little scratches, but it looks a lot better. So that's cool, and I'm surprised this isn't marked. It's pretty big. So would they want three? All right, I'll stick with that. Three dollars. You can see me upside down. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so that wraps up this portion of the video. So let me switch over to my couch and we will unbox the denim uh, mystery box from America's Thrift Supply. See you okay, in a bit. guys, we're at the part of the video where we're gonna go through the mystery denim box from America's Thrift Supply. Remember, I have a discount code for you to save 15% on any purchase as many times as you wanna use it through this month, August, 2022. Okay, americasthriftsupply.com. This is their denim box and we are going to open it. And also I figured I'd switch up the uh, angle of the video and keep you guys on your toes. So I normally do not get clothing anymore because um, I don't really sell clothing anymore. But as you guys ha uh, know, if you've been watching me for a while now, I've been really enjoying the America's Thrift Supply mystery boxes. They have all kinds of mystery boxes, um, including jewelry and purses, and they are almost always available any time of the day or night. They have been out of stock here and there, but they do restock very quickly. Okay, so let's see what we got because I have no idea what to expect. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Okay. This just says, thank you. I don't have a um, invoice. So I will put on the bottom of the screen right here what I paid because I do not remember. So, first box. Ooh, a first box. First pair is a pair of Miss Me. So I know Miss Me does pretty well. I don't know about any more, but I know this used to be a very sought after brand to find at the thrift store. So this is the Signature Slim Boot in size 32. And they always have the embellished pockets um, and yep, so it is a boot cut. There is a little bit of um, distressing at the bottom because somebody was dragging it and it was a little too, these are a little too long for the person, but it's just on that one side. The other side doesn't have it. So these are actually really nice. Um, there is a teeny little bit of wear on the beads. See right here? So there's a little bit of discoloration, okay? Um, but honestly, always check the zipper. Yep, zipper works, okay. 
So that's awesome. So I will put on the screen a price. Um, I will keep the prices. I will look them up online and I will give you an eBay price and a price for you guys as my subscribers because you guys always get the deals. Hi, Dallas. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So that was a nice first piece. Oh, another pair of Miss Me jeans. Okay, America's Thrift. See, and these, these might be a little too small, but I might try them on because they are a skinny jean, size 27, signature skinny. Um, I usually wear 28, so I can maybe squeeze my booty into these, but I do wear um, uh, skinny leg pants. And they are in very good condition. Um, there is, again, just a little bit of the wear, but not that much at all. So I'm gonna try these on. If they don't fit, <laughs> I will put pricing here. If there's no pricing here, then I kept them. <laughs> okay, so cool. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, a Miss Me pair of shorts, you guys. Look at those. Look at these, look at those. What are those? They're Miss Me. And they're in a size 27 again, so these might fit me as well. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope so, because I love these. And these, I don't see anywhere. I don't see... That's just a little crooked. Are all the rhinestones there? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't check the zipper on the, on the skinny leg. Let's see. Yep, we're good on the zipper. Let's check the zipper here. All right, we're good on the zipper here. So again, if we don't see a price on the bottom of the screen, I kept them. <laughs> all right. Next pair, so what is that? That's one, that's three pairs already. Here's four. This is um, EXP NYC, oh, Express. Okay, that's what I figured. These are, I don't know, are they men's? I don't know if it's all women's jeans or all, or like a mix, but these might be men's because they are a 32-32, slim straight, this is not Kyle's size unless I would keep them. $98 price tag, but very cool that they are brand new. And since they, they do stretch and they are the slim straight, which means they are straight leg, but they're not gonna be baggy. They're gonna be kind of like a fitted straight leg. Okay. Perfect condition, they're brand new. Very plain, dark denim, love it. Th these would have been perfect for Kyle, but he is not a 32. He's, I think he's a 34 or 36, one or the other. Um, but yeah, so these are really nice. Um, let's see, I will do, I'll do 25 bucks on these. 25 bucks plus shipping. Okay, so what I say, that was four, now, one, two, three, four, and this is five. So it's five pairs of jeans. And these are Carhartt, okay. Carhartt are, um, are expensive. They're not cheap. These, and these are too big for Kyle, go figure. These are 38, 32, and they are lined inside. Uh, there's a couple little animal hairs there, but you guys always know to wash your thrifted stuff. Um, yeah, so these are 38 relaxed fit. So they're gonna be a little more on the baggy side, but they are in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Like, except for the animal hair inside, these are really nice. So for these, I'll just do 25 also. They're, these definitely are worth it. They'll be great for the winter. They are lined. 
Um, so yeah, 25 bucks. And again, these were a size 38, 32 relaxed fit. Okay, so now that we're done, what'd you guys think? Um, I actually was present, pleasantly impressed and surprised. Um, I was thinking I was getting maybe like Forever 21 jeans, you know, Gap. Um, I don't know, but um, I was very, very impressed with the Miss Me. Um, when I was selling clothing, I could not find that brand to save my life. So it is very cool to get Miss Me jeans. Um, and the brand new Express is pretty cool. And the Carhartt, I mean, can't complain really. So again, check out americasthriftsupply.com. They have so many different um, mystery boxes. And like I said, they're available all the time. You don't have to wait for a certain day and time. You don't have to wait for, you know, you don't have to keep checking the site, like thread up. So um, check them out and at the payment screen where it says discount code type Kristen and you will save 15% through the end of this month. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.